watching this free video tutorial which is a free sample from our course Comprehensive Introduction to Corona 4 Cinema 4D. It is a massive 8 hour long course in which we explore all the aspects of Corona 4 Cinema 4D thoroughly. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check the entire course out. And finally some metal shaders. So I'm going to create a new Corona material and assign it to the geometry. Let's start uh, with a chrome shader. Uh, for metals, normally you don't have any diffuse, so we can set it to zero or disable it completely. Obviously, this is for pure metals. Uh, I'm going to set the reflection level to one or 100% and Fresnel IOR to 999. In the frame buffer set the highlight compression maybe to about 2 and contrast to 1.5. And here is our basic metal shader. If you want to make the surface a bit more matte, a bit more rough, we can decrease the reflection glossiness. And if you want to add some smudges, scratches, fingerprints and stuff like that, we can connect a map uh, to the reflection glossiness input. So in this case, uh, load this map called BW1 and connect it to the reflection glossiness input. And you can obviously use your own map that can be, you know, better for this particular render, but we're just going to be using this BW1 map that we have available. Now we get this very kind of rough metal surface because the map is a tad dark. So let's add a Cinema 4D filter map and connect the texture to the shader input and connect the filter map to the reflection glossiness instead. Enable the curves in the filter map and increase the dark values to 0 0.7. Now those dark pixels get brighter and we're going to have a less rough surface. And I want to decrease the bright values to around 0.925 so the brighter pixels will become a tad darker and therefore the shinier parts will be a bit rougher in our material. Let's increase the highlight compression maybe to about uh, three and connect your reflection glossiness map to the bump map input as well. And set the bump amount to a very low value like 0.05%. And that's our basic metal shader. Let me show you the higher resolution render as well. Uh, for this render, actually, I just set the noise limit to something like 4% and um, started the render. If I wanted to make a gold material out of this, I just need to adjust the reflection color. So I'm going to duplicate the shader in the materials window and drag it to the node material editor. and assign it to the shader ball. Set the reflection color to a fairly desaturated yellowish color with the RGB values of 255, 227, and 147. And this could be our uh, gold shader. And here is the high resolution render as well. For something like copper, uh, so let's duplicate the shader and assign it again.
change the reflection color to a desaturated orange with the RGB values of uh, something like 255, 175, and 147. So for different metals, simply change the reflection color and you would get a really realistic result. Probably the colors that we're using right now are just a bit too saturated. And for more realistic results, we probably need to actually use more desaturated neutral uh, colors. But, uh, you know, we're just trying to show off these parameters and how to work with them. So you can obviously adjust these par uh, colors and parameters on your own. Let me now show you the high resolution under uh, for this copper material as well. So there you have it. Thanks for watching this free video tutorial, which is a free sample from our course Comprehensive Introduction to Corona 4 Cinema 4D. It is a massive 8 hour long course in which we explore all the aspects of Corona 4 Cinema 4D thoroughly. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check the entire course out.